Hey everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to my film and TV channel. I hope you enjoy what I've got for you today and please check out uh, as you're watching this uh, little links on screen as well for different things for my uh, Facebook and Twitter and of course my uh, football channel as well. And uh, please, all your comments are very welcome. Just let us know and push that subscribe button. Don't forget, please push the subscribe button. Make sure your notification is set to public as well if you want to know when uh, these vlogs are coming out. Push that notification button as well. So anyway, please, please enjoy. Right, today we're going to have a look at, uh, yeah, a little bit of a, uh, an unusual one. I don't do many of these, but uh, a documentary. We're going to have a look at uh, a music documentary. Uh, two hours and 15 minutes, yes. Uh, this is actually as at the 27th of July 2021. It's got a short theatrical run here in the UK and check your territory wherever you are, but uh, I'm sure it will be available on DVD, Blu-ray very, very soon. And we're going to have a look at uh, The Sparks Brothers. Yes, The Sparks Brothers, a documentary film directed by Edgar Wright. The film, of course, is about Ron and Russell Mail, members of the pop and rock duo Sparks. Yeah, one of my, one of my ones that I liked in the 70s. There's a lot, a lot of groups I liked in the 70s when I was watching uh, Top of the Pops and involved in all the music side of things. Uh, well, not involved in it, but, you know, but I was interested more, perhaps, uh, I sort of, at the moment, I sort of dip in and out, depending what mood I'm in, to be honest with you. This um, was released in North America on the 18th of June, so it's been available there for a bit longer than here in the UK. And all these scores and little reviews today are as at the 27th of July, 2021, 6pm UK time. Uh, yeah, Rotten Tomatoes like it. I think most people like this, to be honest. There's nothing, nothing wrong with this, this documentary drip. Uh, music drama at all. Uh, the film has an approval rating of 95% positivity on Rotten Tomatoes. That's based on 129 reviews. An average rating of 8 out of 10, so you can't argue with that. 122 fresh and 7 rotten. Yeah, but there are 7 rotten. I'll just uh, quote one of the rottens. That was from Kathleen Sachs of the Chicago Reader. Uh, disappointing might be a better word for it. One might have hoped that when time came for Sparks to get their due, the treatment will be better to reflect the band's singularity okay but uh, here's one of the vast numbers of fresh that there were uh, far far more obviously and Hornaday from the Washington Post even more than an extravagant dive into pop arcana this film is valuable as a moving testament to perseverance uncompromising principles and incorruptible character of course it is uh, there were consensus reads a sort of little website that the sort of a overall opinion their albums may be cult favorites but this Edgar Wright directed documentary offers an introduction to the Sparks Brothers that are something for everyone yeah I, I think if you're not averse to that, you don't know much about the Sparks. I think I think you'd you'd enjoy it. You'd enjoy it. The Rotten Tomatoes audience, the verified audience, the audience that actually paid and uh, forked out for a ticket to go and watch this, set uh, 4.8 out of five. Eh? That's not bad, is it? 9.6 out of 10. So not too not too shabby at all, as we say. Uh, Metacritic, the other other site we have a look at. Again, very favourable. 80 out of 100 based on 28 critics' reviews. And of that 28, all were positive. There's no, no mix, no negative, just all positive. So it's all very, very good, isn't it? It scored anywhere. The lowest mark was 63 out of 100. And the highest was 100 out of 100. Again, I have no idea where we get 100s out of 100s from. But uh, the Hollywood Reporter's Frank Shecky gave it seven out of a, uh, 70 out of 100 and said, while the Sparks Brothers may be a bit too exhaustive for those merely seeking an introduction to the band, and long time fans will be thrilled by the deluxe treatment. Total films Jordan Farley, he give it 80 out of 100. He said, Crucially, while there's plenty, crucially, while there's plenty here that fans of the famously enigmatic pair may be learning for the first time, thanks to Wright's exhaustive access, it's a documentary that doubles as an accessible, breezy introduction to a band you may never have heard of, and a springboard to further explore their celebrated back catalogue. Internet Movie Database, Joe Public, you and me, 1198 scores and reviews as I'm doing this, 8 out of 10, that's not too bad is it, 8 out of 10, and of that 1198, 1138 of them scored this 6 or more, 95%, so that's, that's not bad is it. Right, my little thoughts on, on this uh, for a music documentary. I like Sparks, as I said, in the 70s, in the same way I like most of the bands and music from that era. 
Uh, I certainly have no idea what had happened to them after the, say, 80s. Uh, I didn't sort of follow the, what happened, the, their decline or whatever, or levelling out, if you like, uh, since then. But uh, it was a sort of good film, this documentary. And what they got up to, it's nice to know. I mean, I know I, I like music documentaries, like on the big bands, Queen and uh, Elton John, stuff like that, you know. And I have more or less have a, have a feeling for how, they, how they've moved on from when I used to sort of listen to them as a, as a young man. But uh, obviously Sparks is not, not too much I knew about these guys. So that was a nice, it was a nice fill-in to, to, so I can see what they were up to, which is fair enough. And in the same way, I watched the old reruns of Top of the Pops uh, on BBC from time to time to see the footage of them and other things at the time, uh, other, other you know moments in time, if you like. He's very nostalgic. Uh, I like my history, as you know. And it reminds me personally of, of good times, happy times. Uh, so it's always, always sort of going to appeal to me, certainly, certainly the 70s and 80s element where obviously I was a bit, little bit more interested in the music scene, if you like. Uh, like the music and style, is, is, is there enough to attract a new audience perhaps uh, that just doesn't know about Sparks? I possibly think so. Well, the documentary was uh, was nice. It was a nice documentary, seemingly like the brothers are nice. Everything's nice about it. And uh, although over two hours did fly past it, it, uh, it may drag to someone quite perhaps not familiar with this the, the decades this documentary spreads itself across. As I say, it's two hours fifteen minutes of fans of Sparks, and it, you know it's it's fine. It may for say it may just drag a little bit for people and not quite as into Sparks and wanting to know what went on. Uh, I do occasionally listen to stuff now, as, I, as I'm do, I do like listen to audio books, I like listen to music sometimes, depending what mood I'm in, as I said earlier. Uh, I do like going back and, and listen to stuff like Blondie and all this stuff from, from the past, the Who 10cc, all this sort of thing that I grew up with. And uh, of course, uh, Sparks have never been at the forefront of my mind going back and to listen to but uh, this is sort of uh, piqued me interest in doing it so next time I do have my phase of listening to music like that era I will go back and seek out some Sparks so it's accomplished that anyway as far as, that, that far as I'm concerned because uh, I certainly didn't own any Sparks albums or singles but as I say I did have a, a watching brief and I did enjoy their stuff on, on shows like Top of the Pops it was a nice trip down memory lane. The brothers seem, seem again, we'll get to the word nice, seem very nice. Uh, none of the stars, the, the multitude of stars who were adding their thoughts and, and adding their thoughts to this documentary had anything bad to say about these guys, even, even ex-band members It was uh, that had been kicked out, didn't really have anything bad to say about these guys. As I said, it's all very, very nice. Perhaps perhaps the odd darker side to, to them might have, might have helped something to, to this documentary, but hey, you can only do what you can do. Perhaps there is... Uh, Perhaps he didn't. Perhaps he didn't interview some guys who don't like him and have got bad things to say. I don't know. I have to say a documentary is a documentary. You can, only, you can only judge what's put in front of you. And to me, it was all very nicey nice, which is fair enough because they, they do seem nice guys. But uh, yeah, isn't that, surely no one's that nice. Uh, I don't know. Perhaps I'm. Perhaps I'm a bit nasty. Not not so what's the word? Uh, not naive. The opposite to naive. Perhaps I'm a bit like that. Perhaps perhaps I always think there's always some bad somewhere in everybody. No matter how how good they're portrayed you know well there you go um it brought me definitely for fans of film oh, sorry we're getting a thunderstorm uh, <laughs> it brought it's definitely for fans of, of sparks and uh fans and people like me who just sort of liked them i think it was enjoyable as i said it it was quite long but it, it did fly past and as I, I did enjoy watching the visuals as well of the stuff of that time so my little score i'm not gonna go mad as the other guys as i said i I thought it did its job. I'm just going to give it a, a very watchable rating, which is a very watchable rating for me. is 6.5 out of 10, which is a very good score for me. They're very, you know, I'm, people are usually happy. I'm usually happy to give it a 6 to something, you know, that I've watched it. But uh, I just think some of the scores the critics and public have left are a little bit over the top. For, a, for what is, yes, a well put together uh, music documentary, but it's certainly, it's certainly not mind blowing. It's certainly not worth 10 out of 10s, I wouldn't have thought. It's just, 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 just nice. I think that's the word we keep coming back to, don't we? But uh, I did, I did enjoy it. And let me know anyway if you enjoyed it. As I say, if you, if you died in the Wolf Sparks fan, perhaps you would give it 8, 9, 10 out of 10. I'm not too sure. But uh, if you like me, they just sort of like them in passing. 
perhaps 6.5 to 7 is okay, but I'll stick with 6.5 out. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have we got to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So, we meet here again on the film and TV channel. I'll perhaps have a flick across, have a look at my citizen channel, my football channel, or my, my football team, Manchester City. Whatever it is, I only ask, I only ask one small thing from you. Please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.